So, metabolism is something that we interact with every day. And I think when, when people think about it most, they think of it in the context of exercise or athletics. And you know, it has a lot to do with athletics. Um, and the way we convert food and we turn it into energy, as it turns out though, is something that's very basic. It's part of chemistry. And actually, it's something that is you're more familiar with than you think. I don't know, if you've ever been to a campfire, we have kids, so we go have campfires all the time. There's an issue, which is, which is that if you let the, if you let the marshmallows toast for too long, it ends up in a problem. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it ends up in that, which is that you end up doing a combustion reaction. You end up converting all of that wonderful marshmallowy goo oh. ah! <laughs> into uh, <laughs> into carbon dioxide and uh, and uh, and heat. And so, as it turns out, the way we convert our food into energy to ride a bike, to climb, to run, to think, to make molecules uses the same basic process. We take carbon and we take oxygen from the air and we convert it into carbon dioxide and that releases energy. The only difference between you and the blowtorch is that you can do it a little more controlled than I can. <laughs> In this course, we're gonna learn all about the underpinnings of biochemistry. We're gonna learn about how you convert uh, uh, um, molecules into energy. We're gonna learn, learn the rules of that, that, that life plays by. And by the end of this course, you're gonna know just a little bit more about what makes life life and what makes you work.